Many of you in here are content with life. Some of you are happy with life. Some of you think life is the greatest thing you've ever seen. And some of you aren't quite sure yet if you're thrilled about the whole idea. And there are a couple of people in here right now who know that they're just not satisfied in life and don't really like it very much at all. Anytime I have a room with 20 or 30 people, I'm going to have a little bit of both in the room and somewhere in the middle, most people are probably going to fall. If you're sitting here tonight and you're thinking to yourself, how could I have the life that I want to live? Look at these needs and ask yourself this question, which ones are not being met? Or how can I more effectively meet my needs? Now, the pie graph here is really pretty simple. Notice all slices of pie are the same size here. What that represents is the healthy person who's meeting all of these needs in each area of life. But here's what happens with people. Here's why people become dissatisfied with life. They get really good at meeting the needs in one area. See that big fat green one there? But they neglect to meet their needs in another area. And guess what? That pie? Screwed up. It's not a healthy piece of pie. If this was a wheel, we couldn't really roll this one down the wheel because it would, it would be lopsided. And so the question for all of us is, and that's why I like this little handout. I like this handout not because every class needs a handout. I like the little handout because I can look at it and try to figure out, wow, where are my, where are my needs not being met? And, and then ask the next question, how can I begin to meet those needs? Well, NLP gives us some tools for meeting our deepest needs. And there's a pattern on page two of the notes that I passed out that is actually a, a little mini program you can run to help you meet your deepest needs. And the first thing to do is to identify any unfulfilled or neglected needs. And then take a trip in your mind to an experience or time in life when those needs were being fulfilled. I'm a firm believer, instead of telling my clients how to do something, I'm going to ask them how to continue to do what they used to do correctly. It's a lot easier to teach a, let, a, let a dog draw from their old tricks than to try to teach them new tricks. And then to identify the behaviors, emotions, relationships, or spiritual actions that they were engaged in at the time. And then move it to the present, asking themselves, what was I doing then that I could be doing now? And make a decision to take one action then this week, and then to associate it in that new feeling by seeing yourself as you know you will be. And if we can future pace, if we can see ourselves as we know we can be, we will be that. And so by intensifying that wonderful feeling and then moving from here into action, by the end of this week, any areas of life you have not been meeting those needs are areas of life where you will be meeting your needs, those needs. Now, I can just teach this, so I can go through it and say, isn't that cool, isn't that cool, isn't that cool, isn't that cool, and you guys will probably think that's cool, the power of suggestion. <clears throat> but when you experience, you'll see that it really is true. And so I'm going to take a couple minutes before we talk about the next area, which is the importance of modeling, and I'm going to guide you through this process. So take in a breath and close your eyes. Sit in the chair. This will take probably three minutes, maybe, maybe even two. Put the paper down. Breathe in deeply and continue to just breathe in and breathe out. As you continue to breathe in and breathe out, let yourself relax physically. You'll probably find it easier to visualize in a moment if your eyes are closed. So if your eyes aren't closed, go ahead and close the eyes. And every one of us has a creative part of the mind, and a part of the mind where awareness is created. Access that part of the mind right now and identify an area of need that is either being neglected by you or despite your best efforts, is still unfulfilled. Is it variety? Is it comfort? Is it significance? Love? Is it growth? Is it contribution? Identify an area that is either unfulfilled or an area that has been neglected. Now think back to a time in life, maybe it was recently, maybe it was last spring or last summer or last year or even two or three years ago. Some of you might have to go back five or six or ten years. But think back to a time when that need was being met, that need for comfort or that need for love or that need for connection, or growth, or contribution, or variety. 
And now think, identify, think about the behaviors that you were doing at that time. What emotions you experienced at that time? What social relationships? What were you doing with others at that time? And spiritually, how were you caring for yourself at that time? Now ask yourself, looking back, what were you doing then that you could be doing now? Think of one thing, identify one thing from your previous experience where that need was being met that you were doing then that you could do now if you wanted to. And now decide. On one new action to take this week. Make a decision right now. One thing you'll do this week to meet that need. And then out of P, we talk about associating into a feeling. And so associate into that by seeing yourself as you know that you will be today, tomorrow, next week, next year, if you take that action. See yourself loved or loving, contributing and productive, growing, significant, experience new things, variety and experiencing comfort in life. And now intensify that feeling of seeing you the way you know you have the capacity to be. Like Charles said, on a level 10. And create that state now. And now, open your eyes. Take in a breath. Feel fantastic. In any NLP pattern, the last step is test it. How are you going to test it? Tomorrow, I want you to ask yourself this question. Did I do what I committed to doing? And how do I feel after doing it? Next, fr next, next Friday, ask yourself, did I do what I committed to doing? And how do I feel after doing that? And you're going to find that you're going to feel fantastic. Like your needs in areas of life that have been neglected in the past are actually being met. Now, the second concept of 